you, you haven't met him, but K, uh, KB9UCW, he's uh, up in, uh, in Anderson. He's pretty much uh, wheel, wheelchair bound now. Uh, muscular sclerosis, I think it is. But anyway, he, she, he up in the game. I think you're uh, pretty sure you're from last year. If you uh, set your barbecue pit up there and then just... Oh, yeah, there's always the uh, nickel finger of fate. WX9LOT. Things. So uh, maybe they get the idea then, but... Just about convinced that I've got a problem with my radio and, and um, with the with the pot, the mic gain pot, and, and uh, the AF gain pot where it does the same thing when I'm trying to adjust the volume. And uh, the Lord said he knows every hair. Sure, sure. Charlie 8, Victor Ocean America. Yeah, I got a good sound copy on you here in eastern Kentucky. Can I look? Okay, bear with me there. Um, I'm here logging myself, so uh, a little not so quick on the uptake. Uh, the name here is Carl, and we are located in West Central Ohio, which is about 22 miles north of Cincinnati. We're at the old Voice of America station. We're running a special event station in commemoration of the first transmission from this location uh, by the Voice of America in September of 1944. And um, the 4S units on his received signal as well, so pretty consistent with my transmitted signal up there. Hope the rain stops for you, Gordon. Take care, and, um, and uh, we'll catch you again. I'm sure good signal for this time of day, like Paul said, and... Um, we got nice, cool weather and low humidity, too, and it's supposed to, I guess, be nice like this at least for the next four or five days, according to the um, the weather here. Uh, KG90 to take it, W4ALO. Okay, Al. All right, Gord, let you go there, 7 threes. Hope your rain quits. It, uh, we had a lot of rain here. Uh, well, I don't know a lot. Let's see, yesterday it was point, uh, point six eight or point six something in the... Uh, day before it was point, uh, 1.08 so we got over, over a couple inches of rain there uh, in a couple of days and that's good we needed it all right seven three it's nice to hear you. you had a beautiful signal in here today man it's always a pleasure thanks for hollering at us go ahead there paul kg90 okay yep see you later gord and uh, by the way yes i am running the amp about 500 watts right now so uh I think you'd asked me that a while ago, but uh, uh, catch you catch you a little bit later tonight, Gord. He probably left right away so the stuff wouldn't burn. Oh, I would have too. I, I, <laughs> he's got barbecue on his mind. Be like, heck, what they're talking about signals and that, you know? Yeah, I got I got the neighbor's bull in the pit. <laughs> I guess I'm going to get out of here. I don't go do something, I guess, Paul, or watch. Uh, I don't know if that MMA fight, I, I'm not going to order that paint. They're too expensive, but um, I ordered the last one last month. And uh, that damn fight, last, that main event, probably lasted about two and a half minutes. And it was over with, like, man, that was like a, a lot of money. for. I could have bought a, some coax cable or wire or something towards something, I guess. But, um. Anyway, hopefully that one amp. I don't know if I want to buy that or not, but I, you know, I got to make up my mind if uh, if that guy has it, and and my wife will give me some of her proceeds to put with mine. I could have a little bit nicer amp, I think. But um, I think for what it is, for what I do, I think this one does pretty good. The one, the one, uh, three, five hundred, Paul, and ten. I like um. Uh, that amplifier that that uh, Tentec doesn't make any longer, that um, that Titan or whatever it is, this 3CX 800s or something. I don't know if that's what the name of that is. I think it's the Titan. And he got the Hercules, and the Centurion is the two 3500s, but kind of pricey. 
Uh, and what are you going to gain? What are you going to gain with um, with uh, two? You know, like um, 500 more watts is all. Well, actually, in my case, if I turn things up to um, to drive this thing, 1,200 watts TEP is what I could see out of it. So. I don't think you're going to see much with another 300 watts if you're running full legal limit. Maybe in a marginal case where somebody ain't hearing you, way on the fringe of something where it's taking, um, I'm giving her all what she got, Captain. Maybe it might make a difference on that type of situation, but those are kind of rare anyway when, when you're um, hearing somebody. Now, anyway, uh, well, Paul, it's nice hearing you again. You too, Ken. And uh, I'll send it around to Ken, and, and I'll um, I'll listen. I'll probably uh, what I got to do? Nothing, basically. I need to call my wife and um, ask her a couple things. But she's out in a place. She's down by Kentucky Lake in a, in a um, way out in the woods. And I don't know if they're getting a cell signal out there, and I keep getting her uh, voicemail. So. Um, uh, it's probably spotty or edgy down there in, in the um, New Concord, Kentucky area. I know when I've been down there, I, I didn't have uh, many places where you see a cell signal. So anyway, uh, very good. Or I could go uh, for another little walk again. I walked about 40 minutes this morning. And um, when I before I walked, I checked my blood sugar, and it was 318. I went for the 40 minute. I didn't even walk really fast or brisk. Just I went for about 40 minutes, came back, and uh, checked it again, and it was like 271. So 318. I need to get it down below, you know, down in the 70 to 100, and what is it, 80 to 110 or 80 to 120 range. I got up this morning. I did mine. It was three something or another, and um told my wife, hey, look at your blood sugar before you eat or drink anything. And hers was like 88. I'm like, damn. <laughs> so she got good blood sugar or normal blood sugar, which is probably good. Anyway, over to you, Ken. Keep healing. Paul, I hope your leg gets better. And um, it's certainly nice catching both of you today. Very nice signals and audio from both of you, like always. And um, we'll have a great weekend and uh, take it easy. And Maybe we'll catch you uh, later on or maybe tomorrow if not. Um, but take care until next time. KG90 with uh, KB5IPK. Uh, this is W4ALO. Going to listen now. Go ahead, Ken. There's a November India station, Ken. Yeah, okay. Well, who is the breaker? It's KG90. What is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and Thanks. do it again. Okay, I didn't Paul, hear take care, it. brother. Yeah, what's the name? Oh, hello, Bob. Let's see, Columbia. Uh, I'm still writing. Name's Ken here, Kilo Echo November. I'm located in East Central Indiana. My call's Kilo Golf 9 Oscar. Hey, glad to hear you. You got a nice signal. <laughs> I, uh, uh, well, for the, for the day, it's good, I guess. Uh, I, I had a hard time hearing you at first, but you came through okay that way, that time. Go ahead, Al, you can, uh, you see if you can, uh, catch him. Do you know who Bob is? Go ahead. No, but I always get his name backwards. I don't know why I do that, but, um, I'm, I was north and I was barely here, and I got November India, but I didn't get the uh, full call. Uh, Bob, I don't even know if you're hearing me, uh, but I'm, I'm about ready to, well, I signed already but I'll um, just say hello to you and see if you're copying me and and I phase this back south maybe it picked up or and if not uh, uh, you got Paul and uh, uh, Ken anyway at least in there that's uh, probably hearing you uh, so go ahead Bob and I'll try to listen for you go ahead W4 yellow yes sir you've got a good signal here
I did copy Columbia, South Carolina, is what you said, and um, just real quickly, when I was 17, that's where I stepped off the plane uh, to go to uh, boot camp at Fort Jackson. And uh, when I got off the plane, uh, two things hit me, Bob. The, uh, the humidity and the heat. Of course, I went down to boot camp at the worst time you can in the summer. And I thought, you know, coming from Chicago where the, where the humidity is low, I'm like, damn, what did I get myself into? But um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, Fort Jackson, South Carolina was a great place. And then... Um, and then we went over to uh, Fort Gordon, Georgia, to signal school for um, for uh, AIT. So uh, anyway, I've been down in that area there in uh, uh, Columbia, South Carolina, at least at the airport anyway, and then the uh, Greyhound bus ride to Fort Jackson there, Bob. Anyway, 73 is nice nice he hearing you, and um, and uh, it sounds like we've – I think we've talked before because I remember talking to a uh, – uh, uh, Columbia, South Carolina station not too long ago. So go ahead, Bob, and, and we'll listen out. W4 yellow. Yeah, I came out of Chicago, out of Rockford, Illinois, so I know what the weather's like up there. Yeah, Winnebago County, right? Winnebago County, yes, sir. Rockford, Yeah, you probably you're probably familiar with uh, if you were there at the time this guy was doing stuff. Bad Brad Hefton, you remember that name? Yeah, 